Hey guys, what's up? It's Evolve for everyone knowing how all my adventures are going. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, because I didn't last week. <laughs> so if you guys have kept up with my uh, community tab, I actually threw out my shoulder. And every time I walked around, it was like sharp pain. And I l lifted my arm, it was sharp pain. Every time I tried to go to sleep, it was sharp pain. The first day, I did not go to sleep at all. So I had to miss work, which sucked. And... Pretty much through all that, I think it lasted for like two days. No, probably three days max. I mean, I still have neck pain right now, but it's like very slight. I think I am a lot better, but I did want to talk about the combat system as well today. I was going to put that in the community tab that I was feeling better and I wanted to talk about that. I just had to get everything situated. Um, So... First thing first is that this is technically an old overlay. This was the original overlay. And I changed it up quite a bit. Well, this is this was down here. And this was a lot bigger. But I kept uh, saving. But I kept saving and looking at it from like a full image. Hold on. Uh, let me scroll up because I'm going to be saving this and showing. All right. So this is the first one that I had uh, actually looked at. Just changed up a bit because at first I had this, had these all spread out like take up the whole row. But then I started getting better ideas. Then I started looking at a lot of this through like full screen. And what I mean like together is mostly like seeing like what I can resize because everything shouldn't be like this big. So I actually changed that up and now it looks like this, which looks a lot better. I have to save it, extract it, just to be able to see this because the program I'm using is called um, Photo P and they don't have any like full screen options, full screen previews. So this is the best way I can do that. So inside of this, this old like, well, new layout technically, I decided to put everything in the middle here and have your team up here so you can see like what members are still alive and how much HP they have, what status stats they have on them. Maybe not what stats. Nah. I feel like going through party and seeing the stats would be a lot better than having like a lot of items on them on the screen or well, icons on the screen, but we'll see about that. Uh, but anywho, uh, like I said, it's not done because I have one more thing that I wanted to add to all of this, which is going to be done in this video. But uh, I've been playing a quite a bit of turn-based games looking for inspiration. And the main thing that kind of inspired this was a game called Chrono Arc that I've been playing and, you know, actually enjoying and beginning quite a bit of ideas from because they're... Layout is actually something that I was thinking about at first with the first layout. But then I was like, it would probably be easier just to put them on the right side and have everything there and have, you know, then the buttons interaction at the bottom so it can look a lot more presentable for my game. Because you'll have six months of growth, you know, the classic six. And... It's going to be between being up here to show which monsters are in combat or I highlight which monsters are in combat. Because this isn't like just full on, hey, all four of these monster girls are fighting at the moment. Now, I do have plans for probably a double battle, triple battle, stuff like that. Uh, if anything, I would probably use this as a raid format because if I do add in like more of a raid based you know, function, this would probably be the best way for me to do that. So, yeah. 
Um, so without further ado, um, I would recommend Chrono Arc actually because Chrono Arc is actually like very freaking fun. I didn't when I first looked at it, I put it on a wish list like a long time ago, and I just remembered it because I looked at my wish list because I actually go through quite a lot of RPGs. And now I'm kind of inspi inspired to do like a series on that. But first things first, I got to finish my Grand Fantasia series before I even touch such a, such a thing. Um, so with that said, the final touches of the map first. Well, not map, uh, layout. So this is all concept, by the way. Everything in here are just placeholders, just to show concept. And I need to find uh, my monster girls. There we go. I do need to separate these images. So for an example, let's say we use slime girl. So yeah, we're gonna have the monster girls pop up over here. I have to think about how large I want it like this to go. So I also thought about like a certain few other things of like not making this too large if I do do the raid format. Because this is more of like a multi combat. If I was to do anything I would unhighlight hold on. We're gonna actually merge this. Because if anything, it would be more like this for single player combat of like when the trainer or your encounter is. Because I did tell you guys that it's going to be a more of a dungeon crawler of a Monster Girl game, the Creature Collector. So it's going to be a lot of fun things going on. Oops. So yeah, this is probably what I would go for more. And then we would have, then we'll have Taiji on the side right here. So all of this would be what current Monster Girl is currently out and what enemy you're selecting to hit. So I felt like that would be a lot better than just, you know, kind of hoeing you guys on the battle images and we're going to put let's go for there's a way I did this I just got to remember how is that it yeah that's it now I change that to black and now I would copy, paste. Okay, so now that we've done that, here is where I would probably put the level. Then we'll add levels. Then it's more than likely. Okay, I'm trying to just line that up. But more than likely, common thing we're probably going to have to do is copy, paste this. Oh, okay. Just duplicate it here, I guess. And obviously for this, we're definitely going to have like... Actually, I might make this all a lot, a lot bigger. Not like extremely big, but at least they're right there. I feel like it'll be more comfortable for like a 1v1 battle screen. Hey, stop that.
Like, I'm mainly focused on 1v1 battles at the moment. I say, if I was to do double battles, it'll, or, you know, anything above that, it'll probably be, like, way later on. Um, shadow drop on the text. Something we definitely need. Just to make it, like, pop out and be able to actually see it. I, I, I don't know why I'm treating this like OBS. <laughs> okay, I, I thought I could like find it at first. And I was just sitting here, sitting here like, okay, this is kind of like OBS, man. It is kind of, but it's not exactly like it. So I, it, it confuses me sometimes. Uh, if I had like the faction symbols, I would probably put it like right after the 18. But the faction symbols aren't a thing I'm worried about right now. Like, as of right now, at this point, I would probably add... Well, no, not probably. I am going to add, like... Oops. Damage numbers as well. Obviously, the HP and mana aren't going to look like this. They'll probably look more basic. Uh, okay. Ten dang. I just gotta stop holding alt while I'm, like... Clicking my mouse... It's taking me a while to learn this, like, hold on. It's taking me a while to, like, learn this program. And this is where all the status debuffs and stuff will fall in line. Um, I actually might drag that down because I just realized the gap down there is kind of bothering me a bit. Okay, so this actually looks... Not have bad. Uh, I think I have icons I can use as an example. Yeah, one I can actually like see very well would be optional. Just like simple ones. I say this one's simple, but it is like all black. I guess I would put like a glow around this, around all the icons, just to make them a lot easier to see. Instead of getting people to make like certain icons, like icons that look like they're way too big. does help me see what type of icons that would look a lot better. If anything, I would change this to red. Hold on. No, I'll probably change it to blue for it. To okay, so yeah. Blue is for lower. And I feel like that would be a lot more simple. For like attack down. Like, because I kind of want like debuffs to show down here but i guess that would be kind of troublesome for like the layout uh we're gonna go ahead extract it and see let's see how much space we're like actually working with here because it's kind of hard to tell hmm it's not too bad, it's just annoying because this, this little shading keeps screwing up every time I try to lower it. Okay, so I was actually able to lower it quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is delete that. Oh god. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go ahead, take this, paste it. Now what we're going to do Okay, why do you keep grabbing that? What we're going to do this is uh, turn this to a smart object. This is no longer going to do what it's going to do. So now I should be able to flip this. Wow, it's fighting. Yeah. 
There we go. I'm able to fix it without it fighting me. Or maybe I'll do this a different way to where it just shows down the line. And the buffs are in the front and the debuffs are slowly popping up in the back. So they're kind of like separating each other. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that instead. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, we're going to go with that idea. I feel like it's just a lot more tamed that way. Of it just going down the line. This is, this is kind of why I enjoy doing this, because it actually helps me, like, learn what I want to do for the combat system. If anything, I'll find, like, a like a game pack that has icons and everything. We'll use that as placeholders. Or we might just use those indefinitely if they actually work with it. But at the moment, I'm just looking at placeholders. So, yeah, this this actually looks a lot better. Um, I need to lower this. And I guess we will put the name. Do you want to put the name? Because you already have the name up here. You already have the name up here. So I don't think... I think that would be unnecessary. But then again, you have the level over here too. At best, I would do this. To where it won't take out like too much of the image, but longer names could be an issue towards that. That would be the only like other thing. So, yeah, I think this will actually be fine because all the extra details are up here. Oh, what the hell just happened there? Oh, whoops. I think I would always have this anchored to the left, if anything. No, anchored to the right. Why would I say left? And with that, the basic concept of it is actually uh, done. And if there's like, if I actually do keep this layout, I would have to make these images smaller. And well, actually, hold on. We can actually test that here. So where are where's my folder? I didn't change the color here. Uh, we're gonna change that to blue. Okay. So technically, oh no, not this. Ah, oh, here it is. So if I was at the shrink taiju here, it actually might work in a double battle just fine. It's only if I actually plan on doing like the raid format, 
it could be somewhat a lot different there. I don't know how that got stuck up there. But yeah, as a ray format technically wouldn't be too bad with this. Just not make too much of a cluster. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to extract this. And I'm going to backspace her back hidden and extract this one. And actually take a look at all the sizing and everything up close to where the game would be like full screen. So, double battle. Also, de highlighted um, Tigora just to show that she's faded as well. Just to put like a little shadow over her box so you can't see her. I'm going to have to go through and make a whole bunch of images that kind of cut out the Monster Girls, which is going to be interesting to do later on. But that's when, once we start getting close to combat. Uh, the developer, actually, uh, Wasaga 2, can, is now available, not available until, like, Saturday right now. I think they kind of misjudged time. So, yeah. I know she's a little bit washed out. I gotta fix all the images. Yeah, that I got to talk to Mono about it. But yeah, let's go ahead and look at the single player one. To be honest, the only thing I gotta think about is this. Because I said you're probably gonna have to up to six. This would be the main issue here. So I probably have to shrink that quite a bit more. Which, would, which is not a bad thing because you're, it's just there to just to let you know what Monster Girls you have in the party currently. Which of them are alive and which one of them are dead. Then once you push party, then you can see like what stats are on what. Like I said, I, th I think it's better that way. Just to keep this like nice and simple and not too like over the top. And I think if you hover over them, maybe I'll have it changed. To where which one you can ever like which one you can actually like look at or maybe not nah, maybe i'll have it to where you can click it then it will show up instead of like hovering because that could be misleading then whenever you click it off anywhere on the map it will go back to the current one that's that's up that would probably be a way better idea well, i'll have to respond to someone who commented I normally try and comment as much as I can to you guys. Try and interact as much as I can. But um, yeah, pretty much a lot of things are going well. I say now that I have the combat layout that I actually want, I'm actually happy. Uh, the next thing I am going to have to do down the road is get like a 2D, well, 2.5D background for the combats. So for the first, for the first dungeon, I'm thinking either a forest or a cave, which will more than likely be probably a forest first, a forest to the cave for that area. And... You guys already voted and more people wanted like the map instead of being able to have you guys wanted more of a map selection of dungeons that you can go through instead of you know world travel that was the first poll that i did and i made a new one because i thought the old one was confusing but it ended up being you know, that. So it's going to be more of as soon as you travel outside the village, a map will show up and you can start selecting like which points that you want to go to, which dungeons you open up. And I was trying to uh, make like, I'll probably make a story dungeon. Then I'll make a story dungeon just for like the story 
itself, then I will make it to where you guys can. Oh, I just realized that this actually didn't change. Or is this the old one? Oh, this. This is the one. Okay. I was sitting here like, I was like, wait a minute. I just where I changed that. But, um, yeah, Sword Dungeon, then it'll probably be difficulties before you can rerun it. And I'll probably have like, probably like five different map layouts that'll just be randomly generated. Because making like an actual randomly generated map takes a lot of time. And I'm not sure how I want to set that up. I want everything to look as, you know, as well put together as possible. So it's either going to be randomly generated or randomly generated between five different maps. Probably could be ten. Who knows? But probably be five at best. Then the loot and the Monster Girls. Well, the loot itself would probably be purely randomized in like different locations to where they can have a chance to pop up or not have a chance to pop up they'll probably have like different items all different runs i say at least it'll keep you know the loot and where everything is a surprise at best so that's not too bad of an idea there because like i said i'm not trying to like spend a lot of money because i don't have a lot of money available to me right now to where i can expand that so kind of got to keep that to simplicity at this point but yeah, um, like I said, not all Monster Girls are in combat. I'm thinking about highlighting them for whichever one is in combat currently. Um, so let's talk about a little bit of this UI down here. So rest is basically to get mana back. I'm not sure about healing. I'm probably going to make an item that allows you to heal when you rest. But at the moment... Rest only brings is only gonna bring back mana. So it's kinda like um like Tam Tam a little bit. Tam Tam has a little stamina system and stuff like that. But all Monster Girls will have their own like regen amount. And you can increase that by leveling or probably with items. At the moment, that just really depends. Uh, then you have your spells, which is the player spells. The player will be able to use certain spells. Um, certain spells to influence the battle a little bit. Because at first, I originally want the player to be able to combat with the Monster Girls as well. But it seems like that would be kind of complicated if your character uh, dies. <laughs> Now, I thought about it, it's like if your character dies, you're just playing a protection game at that point. But I think for the next game I have in mind, now I'll keep that in I'll keep that in secret. Because if this is actually this game is actually successful, I have a huge surprise of this a sequel for this game that could turn out to be amazing. That's only if I live that long <laughs> to see that idea come to the come to uh, light. But I'm looking forward to seeing like how this all goes and how many people will you know support the game. It's a lot. A lot of you guys are supporting the game right now, and I appreciate it. I mean, I appreciate like the love and support and likes on the Monster Girl Utopia videos. If not, you know, financially, I don't care. I say as long as, you know, I'm building like a community that's actually interested in the game, that's all I care about. And it makes me happy. It makes me want to actually go to work, make money, and use that money to expand this game as much as I can. So, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. That is pretty much all I have to show you. This is what layout we're going to stick with. Time is the reason why we fight.